Breaking news. Supreme Court speaks dates to year Namdi Kano's case against federal government. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Supreme Court of Nigeria has fixed Thursday, October 5th, 2023 for hearing on two separate appeals filed by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ibo Mazinamdikano, through his counsels and against his continued detention. The appeal to hear Mazinamdikano's case has been marked and the lead counsel of the detained leader of the pro-Biafra group, Mike Ozekome, confirmed the hearing date to Sahara reporters on Saturday. Mike Ozekome is the senior advocate of Nigeria and leads Ifani Ejo for and others in the appeal which they had formerly won at the Federal High Court and at the Court of Appeal. It was reported that uh, the Court of Appeal on October 2022 discharged Kano of 15 count charges against him. And then the appellate court subsequently barred any further request, any detention and trial of Kano on the existing charge before his forceful, extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria by the agents of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the twenty second of on the twenty seventh of June, twenty twenty one. And then the federal government later appealed against the judgment at the Supreme Court. And then they subsequently got another panel of the Court of Appeal to stay the judgment of the appellate court. So that was how Mazen Amdekano, you know, has remained in the, uh, in, the, in the detention of the DSS. That's, despite the judgment, Namdekano has, you know, remained at the at the you know, at the facility of the Department of the State Service nearly one year after the judgment discharging him. Confirming the hearing date, Kano's lawyer said that the following appeal has been slated for hearing at the Supreme Court of Nigeria, Abuja, on Thursday, the 5th of October, 2023, you know, and uh, it was reported earlier on that... Uh, on September 18th, uh, age of four recalled that Kano's lead counsel, Michael Zekome San, had formally requested for the court's approval of September 28th as the new scheduled date for the hearing of the appeal following the cancellation of the earlier scheduled date. Ejofo has said that there is a positive indication that in the coming days, a confirmation or otherwise of the proposed new date would be made public upon our lead council's feedback. And the request is simple, you know, let this appeal be heard with every agency it deserves so that the fate of Mazenam Dikano, who has been illegally held in the so solitary confinement of the DSS would be, you know, determined, having been discharged of all the fivorous criminal charges against him since the 13th day of October 2022. The federal government of Nigeria has continued to detain him in custody, which is in clear violation of the substituting of the substituting judgment and the orders of the court of, of the appeal that directed his unconditional release and consequently, you know, uh, prohibited his further trial before any court in Nigeria or detention in any custody in this country. So, my country people, the indigenous people of Biafra, IBOB, their lawyers, their counsel, They've all stood on their ground, and it seems that uh, the will of justice may definitely grind slowly, but it would grind exceedingly fine 
in no distant time as we are hoping that Mazinam the Kano would get justice at the Supreme Court. Yes, a lot of people are hoping that Mazinam the Kano would get justice. A lot of people have been praying that this man would be released because this man's continued detention at the DSS is really, really, you know, unnecessary. They should free him. I feel Mazinambi Kanu is really not the problem of Nigeria. You know, he's not the problem of Nigeria. Nigeria has a lot of problems that we are currently facing. We have insecurity at the corner. We have, uh, you know, a uh, lack of employment. A lot of problems. And uh, holding this man is not doing any good to the nation. Holding him is not doing any good to the nation. Instead, it's adding more fuel to the fire especially in the southeast region because those people there are you know still agitating for the release of uh, Mazinam Dekano. okay look at the recent uh, seat at home order that has been called off by Namdekanu himself because this seat at home order started when Mazinam Dekano, you know was a uh, put at the DSS detention, the DSS custody, and people have been calling that he should be released. So the federal government should release um, Mazin Abdikanu. It seems that uh, he's only seeking for the freedom of his people. The federal government should free him for peace to come back to the southeast. If Tinibu wants to make progress, he should free him because this should be his first step. There can be no progress, there can be no development if there is no peace. So this man should be released. The federal government should release Mazinam de Kano if they want the Southeast, if they want peace in the Southeast. Mazinam de Kano is a prisoner of conscience. God will be with you, the supreme leader. Well, I think the president should have a round talk with this guy and Igbo leaders so we can have peace restored, especially in the troubled eastern states. It is so clear that Kano is not our problem. I come in peace, so it's better they release Nnamdi Kano. The federal government and the Supreme Court should free him because there's a lot of tension in this country and that tension would be reduced if Mazinam Dekanu is being freed. They should release him all. He has not committed any offense known to the law. He's just fighting a just cause and he will certainly win because he is determined. This man that has been chosen by God to liberate his people, the Nigerian government should free the innocent man. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, I'm dropping here. Make an account check out for this matter. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.